The following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. It's time now for high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Good evening from the convo. The 10th ranked Highland Hawks, a record of 21 and 6, winners of six games in a row, and going for the third consecutive regional championship. They're taking on the 8th ranked South Webster Jeeps, a record of 23 and 3. They've won six straight, and they're going for their first trip to the state since the 2006 campaign. Stay tuned. I'll be speaking with Highland head basketball coach Mark Stable on the pregame show on WKLM. If you're looking for a career in custom home construction, then join the team of professionals at Weaver Custom Homes. Weaver Custom Homes and ESOP Company offers competitive salary packages, retirement benefits, paid vacation, flexible hours, and so much more. Check us out today at www.weavercustomhomes.com or give us a call at 330-264-5444. Weaver Custom Homes, providing quality custom homes for over 40 years. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail if you're caring for an aging loved one and need some extra hands, let Walnut Hills in Walnut Creek help you. The outstanding team at Walnut Hills Assisted Living provides experienced, compassionate care for individuals who need assistance with meals, housekeeping, laundry, mobility, bathing, medication, administration, and more. Walnut Hills has been named an America's Best Continuing Care Retirement Community by Newsweek. To see and feel what makes Walnut Hills different, come visit our campus. Call 330-893-3200 to schedule your tour. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors built on solid relationships. The employees of Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They also are very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some giving back through working for their township or community board. So what makes this cooperative different? They focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for their members, always here for their community. It takes 165 employees producing 13 million board feet of lumber a year. It takes a philosophy designed to provide the best possible product, excellent service, and follow-up at a reasonable price. And it takes a commitment to upgrade equipment and facilities to meet their customers' needs. All this and so much more happens right here in Holmes County at Yoder Lumber. When building their masterpiece, contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners turn to Yoder Lumber. Yoder Lumber Company. The tradition continues. Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. 
It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at MillerCustomExteriors.com. It's time for Before the Tip, brought to you by Hobbard's Insurance in Millersburg. Are you covered? Hi, this is Larry Hobrin from Hobrin's Insurance Service in Millersburg and Sugar Creek. We don't believe in selling our customers the cheapest insurance coverage. We believe in selling you the right insurance coverage. At Hobrin's Insurance Service, we won't sell you a minimum limits policy when you have a home or business to protect. We'll set you up a policy that offers you complete coverage for the long-term peace of mind. See our full list of services on our website at hobrinsinsurance.com or call us at 674-9091 or 1-800-340-3767 for a complete insurance coverage quote. Little side Ohio Hawks and basketball. Coach Mark Stable coming off that 52 to 32 win over Northside Christian to advance to this regional championship game tonight. A team that came in averaging under 60 points per game. Mark, you held them to 32. What was working so well for your defense that last game? Well, I think uh, after that first quarter, we just settled in. Um, you know, we we really limited their guards' penetration, and uh, yeah, I mean, we it's a kind of team that we've played this year, and I think you know, just kind of that first quarter, we got through a little bit of the nerves, and then we settled in and. Uh, you know, our defensive fundamentals have kind of stayed the same all year, so I think that's what we're relying on. Offensively, we know what Sammy Detweiler, Nick Bailey can do. How about a Sam Winger these last couple of games? A double digits in scoring the last couple of games really has provided you a boost offensively. Yeah, I mean, Sam's really, uh, you know, he's playing a new role for us here the last part of the year, and I think it's taken him a while to, to offensively, you know, get comfortable again. And, um, yeah, so he's just he's had some great games for us, and uh, that's why that's why we're still playing. Regional finals taking on South Webster, a team coming in, of course, led by Eli Roberts, 6'7", junior Southeast District Player of the Year. Talk about seeing stuff to you about him and about this basketball team. Well, obviously, he's really good. He's long. You know, he's very skilled, plays inside and out. He's a huge matchup problem. Um, and then as a team, you know, they, 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 they're just they're well coached. They play really good defense. They're a great rebounding team. Um, you know, and he's obviously their star. But the thing that stands out is that they have a number of different guys who can lead them in scoring if he has an off night. You know, they're, they're a lot like we are I mean, that uh, their kids are – they're tough nose. They uh, they played a tough schedule, and uh, they expect to win. When it comes down to it, Mark, what's the biggest keys tonight for your team? Well, obviously, we got to try to just make Roberts work really hard for his. Um, that's a big part of it. I think we need to. Uh, they're a great rebounding team. I think that's going to be the biggest key tonight for us. Is we can't just get destroyed on the boards. We've got to hold our own. And, and if we do that, it'll limit some of their easy baskets, which that's another one of our keys, is just to make them work hard, not give them a lot of easy ones. Mark, again, coming down to experience here, we got some guys in your team that have been into this spot before. How big is that going to a, a big game like this in the regional finals? Yeah, it's important. This is, I always say this is the highest pressure game a kid plays in. Uh, this is the one they want to win the most. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, that's a huge key, I think, tonight for us. We've got to settle in quick because they're very talented. Mark, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. All right, thank you. That's the voice of Howell Hawks and basketball coach, Mark Slayball. Before the tip has been brought to you by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hirschberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222.
Sauls and Berlin wishes good luck to all Holmes County coaches, players, and families on the tournament trail. They also invite you to stop in and see all the new spring items they have to offer, including potty benches and glass window boxes. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind unique item, including a large selection of hot sauces, marinara, and salsas to share with the community, visit Sauls online at SaulsInBerlin.com or find them on Facebook. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. A single family home located at 9650 Golf Course Road, Northwest in Sugar Creek, is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $975,000. This property was built in 2021 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 2,208 square feet, located in the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Tim Miller at 330 674 7355 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail taking on a large exterior home project is no small task when you're looking for the best options in roofing siding windows and doors provia products are the clear choice at provia quality is engineered into the product integrity is never compromised and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations our experts at kime home center are here to help you explore the possibilities visit kime in charm ohio kime built on trust since 1911 there's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. a and Builders in Berlin has been putting all those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, a and Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call a and Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's South Webster finished their season last year with a record of 14-9. and They would fall in the Division IV Southeast 1 District Semifinals going down to Portsmouth Notre Dame by the final score of 34-30 in that contest ending their season last year in that District Semifinal game. For Highland last year out of the Division IV East District, they would capture their district title by two points at 56-54, downing the top seed River at the time. Then had two close games at the regionals here at the combo as Highland won their regional semifinal game over Federal Hawking, 55-51. Then a comfort behind win for being down by 15 at halftime. Came back to defeat Northside Christian in the regional championship last year, 52-50 before eventually bowing out in the state semifinals going down the Convoy Crestview at UD Arena by the score of 69-63 to a season ago. Stay tuned. We'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. 
Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. It's time to clear out the old, and you can get a great deal now. With new models arriving daily, Millersburg Electric must make room. Get big savings on over 50 closeout and floor display models. Gas and electric ranges, laundry products, refrigerators, dishwashers, and much more. From all the popular brands, including GE, Cafe, Frigidaire, and more. Don't delay as the inventory goes down each day. So hurry in for big savings. Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South in Millersburg. Or 24-7 at Millersburg Electric. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. Stopping all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have beef shoulder English roast, four eighteen a pound, fresh ground chuck, three thirty eight a pound, and corned beef brisket for five ninety eight a pound. We also have two pound bags of snow floss kraut, two for five dollars, and USDA choice beef stew meat for four ninety eight a pound. Plus, download your digital coupon for a crazy low price this Thursday through Sunday with Blue Bonnet spread, two forty eight, Totino's pizza, three for three dollars at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. Highland, of course, Coach Hampson, the IVC South this year, along with Indian Valley, each going 10-2. And as far as losses are the concern this season for Highland as a whole, lost by four points at Dover earlier this season, a 10-point loss at home to Lutheran East, then lost 51-40 at Garraway, a 59-56 loss to an outstanding Ottawa Glendor team as well on the road, and also lost to Indian Valley on the road by one point at 56-55, and fell to East Canton at the IVC Showcase, 36 to 32. Highland has won 6-3, however. They have a record of 21-6. They're the 10th ranked team in Division 4. For South Webster, for the Jeeps, they rattled off nine consecutive wins to begin the season. They eventually lost their first loss to Wheelersburg. 
71 to 61, and also a 58-55 loss at Minford after that. Then won eight straight before losing 67 to 57 to Portsmouth Notre Dame, and then have, have since won six straight since then. South Webster finished up in second place out of the Southern Ohio Three Conference as they finished up at nine and two in the conference. Wheelersburg won the conference title at 10 and one. South Webster a record of 23 and three overall. They won six games in a row. The eighth ranked team coming in in Division Four for the South Webster Jeeps. Stay tuned. More to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Siding Supply has 35 to 40 store doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. 165 employees producing 13 million board feet of lumber a year. It takes a philosophy designed to provide the best possible product, excellent service, and follow-up at a reasonable price. And it takes a commitment to upgrade equipment and facilities to meet their customers' needs. All this and so much more happens right here in Holmes County at Yoder Lumber. When building their masterpiece, contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners turn to Yoder Lumber. Yoder Lumber Company. The tradition continues. Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at MillerCustomExteriors.com. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail everyone knows that millersburg tire service sells a lot of farm tires like bkt Seat, firestone michelin titan galaxy d stone and lions hi this is brad smucker from millersburg tire service and we also sold over 10,000 heavy duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands we can mount them in our truck bay or we can drop them off if it runs on tires, Millersburg Tire Service has it. Or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Millersburg 
Tire Service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff. The two seed as they would defeat the 16 seed Bellsville 64 to 9, then capture the sectional title at the Reese Center, down in the 11 seed Strasburg 37 26. Defeated the 6 seed Shady Side in the district semifinals 57 to 54, and eventually capture the district title as they would win that over at Uni Local, down in the top seed Monroe Central by the score of 54 to 43. Highland, their eighth consecutive district championship, and now on the other end for South Webster, the Jeeps, and the Southeast 2 District. They begin their tournament trail as the top seed in that district. They would defeat the number 16 seed St. Joseph Central by the score of 72-40 to to capture the sectional title. Then in the district semifinals played here at the Convo, they won that game over Sims Valley 62-42 to and also a win in the district championship game here at the Convo. They went down the five-seed Trimble by the score of 51-34 to to capture the district championship. And of course in the regional semifinal games, played here at the Convo back on Tuesday. It was Highland, a winner over Northside Christian, 52-32. to Then South Webster, they got a win by three points, 48-45 to as they outlasted Fairfield to move on to this regional championship game tonight. Winner of this game moves on, of course, to next Friday's state semifinals. Highland ranked 10th in Division 4. Southwestern ranked 8th in Division 4. The winner will take on either number one ranked Toledo Christian or fifth ranked Lima Central Catholic. And it'll be a next Friday, and it'll be at 10.45 a.m., of course, at UD Arena. Highland, of course, for them, as I mentioned before, going for their third straight regional championship, their 14th regional title in school history, if they can win tonight. South Webster, they're into the regional finals for the first time since 2013. They're also there in 2005, and also going for a, their last state title, actually, was back in 2006. That was the last time they made it to the state tournament, was back in 2006, and they won the state championship that year as well. Also made it to the state back in the 2004 season as well. Other part of the Division IV regional championship game taking place here tonight has third rank Richmond Heights taking on Warren GFK and the winner of that game will take on the winner of the second rank Rushi game and taking on fourth rank Troy Christian in their regional uh, state semifinal game of course the next Friday be at 2 o'clock at UD Arena for those. We'll take a break come back with more on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Meltway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. MBB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. If you're looking for a career in custom home construction, then join the team of professionals at Weaver Custom Homes. Weaver Custom Homes and ESOP Company offers competitive salary packages, retirement benefits, paid vacation, flexible hours, and so much more. Check us out today at www.weavercustomhomes.com or give us a call at 330-264-5444. Weaver Custom Homes, providing quality custom homes for over 40 years. Siding contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product, whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors. Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com.
Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with a winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup, garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. South Webster comes in averaging just over 61 points per game. Highland averaging 52 a game. Defensively, the Hawks giving up 43 points per contest. While the Jeeps give up 48 and a half a game on the defensive end. One key stat during the postseason run for Highland. Highland averaging just six and a half turnovers per game as a team. So really taking care of the basketball, which you have to do at this level while forcing their opponents into an average of 20 turnovers per game throughout the postseason run. McWay alongside Jake Saddle for tonight's broadcast. And just in case you're wondering category, here tonight for South Webster. The Jeeps, you might think that nickname references a, the vehicle, the Jeep, but that's actually not the case. Kind of goes back to the 1940s, in fact, as a back at that time, believe it or not, a little history lesson sports-wise, as coaches could not be on the floor coaching their team during the course of the game. They had to be up uh, in the sidelines away from the floor. Uh, you could talk to your team at halftime, but not during the uh, the course of the game. You could actually take breaks between the first and second quarters, third and fourth quarters, of course, and at that, that time you could get down uh, first eight uh, type things or refreshments to the players and what the Southwestern had the genius idea taking a, a box down and they would give it to the players. So a lot of people kind of speculated they weren't putting first aid stuff in there. So they were putting uh, uh, notes there for the, for the players. The coach was doing that to give them instructions on how to, uh, what to do against their opponents the rest of the game, which you weren't supposed to be allowed to do at that time. And the other connection, which you definitely wouldn't expect, uh, the very popular comic at that time was Popeye, which uh, Popeye for the character in that comic was Eugene the Jeep. All right, so in Eugene the Jeep was all knowing, apparently. He knew everything. So what people started saying is that was uh, the Jeep box, all right, because it was all knowing and had all the information in there, all right, and believe it or not, and I'm not making this up, that that is how the Jeep nickname began here. So I'm sure you're taking notes on that, Jake, right? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to take notes. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have that much ink in my pen, but uh, it, it just goes to show it's like some of those old nicknames. You never know where they came from. Uh, and you, you, it's a lot of history in that. For, for years, it wasn't an official nickname of the school, but later on, uh, a couple of years after this all started, they started branding themselves as the, as the Jeeps, and it's stuck to this day. You know, normally, you know, I always wondered, though, why is there a school with the nickname Jeeps nowhere near Toledo, where, where the Jeeps <laughs> were made, right. the, the cars? Like, now we know why. Now, as far as the game is concerned here between the two teams, South Webster comes in. Of course, a terrific season for them. And Eli Roberts, Southeast District Player of the Year, and he's phenomenal. 6'7", junior, can do it all. Averaging 23 and a half a game, 8 and a half rebounds. As Mark Schleyball said, he's a matchup nightmare. We know Highland is great defensively. But they figure they usually figure something out, but he's going to be a handful here this evening. Uh, they're going to need Nick Wigton to step up in a big way and get down low and really kind of play in that mismatch and make him as uncomfortable as possible in the paint. And this one's one of those games where the Hawks are really going to miss uh, Alex Yoder down in the paint. Yeah, I know they've missed him since he went out in that Ottawa Glandorf game, uh, but they're going to need to figure out a way to stop him today. And uh, for the Hawks, they just need to play Hawks basketball. They were patient. Uh, they had a 
ended up with a 20-point win, and they played their brand of basketball against Northside Christian and did not let the Lions kind of go with their identity. So the same has to be true tonight here in Athens for the Hawks to walk away with a win and punch their ticket to Dayton next Friday. Should be a good one this evening from the combo. Jake Sideway back around with tonight's starting lineups then the opening tip on WKLM. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at MillerCustomExteriors.com. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advantage. Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. My finish line auto body located on the north side of Millersburg. If your car is damaged, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now with tonight's starting lineups, here's Jake Seidel. Well, thank you very much, Matt. And first for the visitors on the scoreboard tonight, the Southwestern, pardon me, South Webster Jeeps, they'll line up like this. A 6'7 junior forward averaging over 23 and a half points a game. That's number one, Eli Roberts. A 5'9 junior guard averaging one and a half points a game. That's number two, Christian White. A 5'11 junior guard wearing number four and averaging 4.2 points a game, Owen Malt. A 6'3 senior forward averaging 7.5 points a game, that's Jack Timothy. And a 6'3 senior forward averaging 14.7 points per game, that's number 14, Tyler Sommer. On the other side for the Highland Hawks, they'll line up like this. They'll be 5'11 junior guard averaging 3.9 points a game, Logan Hershberger. A 6'1 senior guard averaging 16.6 points per game, Sammy Detweiler. A six-foot junior guard wearing number 13 and averaging 6.8 points a game, Sam Wenger. A 5'9", sophomore guard wearing number 15, averaging 4.6 points a game, Alex Miller. And a 6'3", junior guard wearing number 24, averaging 12.6 points a game, that is Nick Wigton. Highland ranked 10th in Division 4, record of 21-6, coached by the Eastern District Coach of the Year. That's Mark Stable in his 19th season. South Webster, the James, ranked 8th in Division 4, a record of 23-3. And, and, of course, they're coached by the Southeast District Coach of the Year, that being Norm Person. Of course, the James, led by Southeast District Player of the Year, Eli Roberts. Highland led by East District Player of the Year, that being Sammy Detweiler. Tonight's story line is brought to you by Finish Line Automani. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs and have your car looking brand new. They'll even help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 
14-83. Winner moves on to the next Friday state semifinals at 10.45 a.m. at UD Arena against either top-ranked Toledo Christian or fifth-ranked Lima Central Catholic. Matt Coy alongside Jake Saddle for tonight's broadcast. Brogan Steimel back at WKLM Sports Central. We're live tonight, of course, on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Also, we'll be posting a video stream for tonight's contest to the WKLM YouTube page directly after the game due to OHSA regulations. We will be posting that live stream coverage actually after the game is over with tonight to the WKLM YouTube page. That is courtesy of the Claxton communication team, as always. Casey Claxton producing tonight's video stream coverage that we'll be posting again after the game. And also Natalie Holbrook working the cameras along with Logan McPeak as well. A couple two cameras are on the video tonight. You won't want to miss that after the game. Should be a good one tonight. Make sure you go to YouTube after the game, the WKLM YouTube page to find the video coverage for tonight's broadcast. Jumping for Highland, wearing their white jerseys and white shorts, black thermals and black and red trim. That's going to be Nick Wigden. Wigden, a 6'3 junior for the Hawks. Jumping for South Webster with their red jerseys and red shorts and black thermals in a white numeral, black stripes, I should say, in white numerals for them. That is going to be Eli Roberts, a 6'7 junior. There's the whistle. Now the toss is underway. It'll be won by South Webster going from left to right. At the convo from Ohio University into the front court. Owen Malt dribbles it now out top. On the right point, Malt shovels it inside. Grabbed by Roberts. Back to Malt. Now to the corner drive by Christian White. Cut off. Right wing pass to Malt. Goes out top with it. Drive by Summer to the foul line. Kicks it left wing. Pass bends out top to Christian White. Cut off. Kicks it high on the left side to Tyler Summer. Summer, 6'3", senior, averaging 14 and a half a game and six and a half rebounds. They hand off out top to Timothy. On the left point, back to White. Back on the right side, here's Malt. And gets called for traveling. And first turnover belongs to South Webster. Sam Winger down low going up against the 6'7", Roberts. Giving up quite a bit of height there and really just not letting him get anywhere without him on his hip. That's uh, exactly what they're going to have to do all night tonight. Highland ball going from right to left. Pass left wing, grabbed by Sam Winger. On the right point, Alex Miller dribbles it out top. Left wing pass to Sammy Detweiler. His three-pointers up there are going to be in and out. And no good rebound hauled in by Owen Moles. Jeeps basketball. Malt to the front court. Gets a pass off to the right corner. Grabbed by Summer. Out top drive by White to the foul line. Lane layup off the glass and good. That's Christian White. Southwester takes the early lead. Two to nothing. Highland basketball. Here's Alex Miller to the front court. Has it out top. Miller backs it up near the midcourt line. Shovels the left wing to Detweiler. Back in the right point. Here's Sam Winger to the foul line. Inside. Grabbed inside by Miller. Lost it. Picks it back up. His pass deflected. Goes out of bounds and off of who? That's going to be off of South Webster, apparently. So Highland's going to keep the basketball. Good heads up play by Alex Miller that time. The Hawks will have it. Sammy Detweiler to win that. It down two to nothing. His pass right wing goes to Alex Miller. Miller has it out top. Right corner back to Detweiler. Drive to the lane. Dumps his pass inside, but stolen away. Now back out top. Grabbed by Alex Miller on the ricochet. Has the poke loose out of bounds and off the Miller. And that'll be a turnover on the Hawks finally. And that will be their second. Miller didn't think so, but South Webster will have the basketball. And just kind of got jumbled in the paint there, Detweiler. Uh, it looks like he's trying to unload a pass there underneath. Got tipped and knocked away. Uh, Right idea there, trying to find a way to get inside and get an easy bucket. Chiefs pass, come up 2-0 on the right wing to Tyler Summer. Crosser pass, right side. Goes inside over to the shot up. No good by Eli Roberts, but he'll be fouled in that right post. Eli Roberts, 6'7", junior, Southeast District Player of the Year to the foul line to shoot two. Looks like you're going to get Hershberger on this one. He got into foul trouble on Tuesday night against Northside Christian as well. As he was really matched up with their top scorer for the Lions as well. Free throw up of the air going to be good. Eli Roberts averaging 23 and a half a game, eight and a half rebounds, a 77% free throw shooter on the year. His first point, and now set for his second free throw attempt. That is up, and that is going to be good. Rattles them both home. His first two, four nothing South Webster. Highland basketball, 6-10 to play first quarter from the convo. Alex Miller to the front court, dribbles it left wing. Miller picks it up. Out top of the pass to Sammy Detweiler. Back in the corner, grabbed by Logan Hershberger inside the paint. Now left wing Alex Miller. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound. Deflected and grabbed finally by Jack Timothy. Jeeps basketball. Here's White to the front court. Back to Timothy on the right point. He hands it off to Eli Roberts high on the right side. Crossover to the foul line. Roberts comes to a jump stop. Looking. Loves the left wing. Going to be grabbed by White. 
Back in the quarter to uh, Eli Roberts. Drives the lane, goes crashing in there. It's called for the charge. Drawing the charge will be Logan Hershberger of the Hawks. That's great by Hershberger. He got lucky there. He got away with uh, maybe making a little too much contact earlier in that possession. Then he stands in front in the paint and takes a big boy charge on that one. First foul on South Webster, of course, belongs to Eli Roberts. Highland has the basketball, still looking for their first point. They're down four to nothing. Five and a half to play, first quarter from the combo. Alex Miller outs off, backs it up. Miller down to the foul end of the quarter of the Dell Weather. His three pointer is going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Jack Timothy. Jeeps with the basketball. Here's Christian White to the front court. Now left wing, picks it up, gets the handoff now to Tyler Summer. He'll pass it inside, too tall, and goes out of bounds, trying to find Owen Malt under the basket and said that'll be their fourth turnover. I don't know if you can tell on the radio, but it is loud in here. The loudest I think I've ever heard of a high school basketball game in this building. South Webster has packed the uh, visitor side of these stands and their student section. I don't think they've stopped making any noise at all since we got in here. A lot of red, and they're excited, as they should be. Highland ball. Three-pointer by Mishler's up, but they're going to be in and out. No good. Halfway down and missed. Rebound grabbed by Christian White. It'll be Jeets basketball. Again, Caleb Mishler in the game now for Highland. And pass goes out top to Eli Roberts for South Webster. Again, up 4 nothing. His pass goes cross-court. Received now. The dribble by Summer. Dumps it to the baseline to Owen Malt. His 15-footer is knocked down. Owen Malt gives South Webster a 6 nothing lead. That'll be his first two of the game. Highland ball. Here's Alex Miller to the front court. Has it out top. His pass to Detweather. Into the quarter goes to Mishler. Mishler dribbles it. Out top to Sam Winger. Drive to the foul line. Spins around the lane and lost his footing. That's going to be a travel. And for Highland, their third turnover of the first quarter. Averaging just six and a half turnovers as a team throughout the postseason run for Highland. So already half of that total for them in this first quarter. Focal pressure is on. Inbound and then grabbed by Tyler Summer. Works it against Detweiler. His pass handed off to Owen Malt. Malt against Mishler. He'll take it across the midcourt line for the Jeeps. 4-10 to play in the first. On the left wing, back inside, goes over to Jack Timothy. Kicks the left wing back to Summer. Summer looking. Back inside. Received by Owen Malt. His pass deflected on the four. Stole it away. Nick Wigdon has the ball. Takes it to the basket. Juggles it. Grabs it. Layup off the last. Is in and out. No good. Rebound put back. It's going to be good. However, on the putback by Sam Langard. And Highland is on the board. Having trouble getting that ball to go through the hoop. But Highland is on the board now. Down 6-2. to two. South Webster has the basketball. Here's Owen Malt with it. Malt dribbles it. Gets a pass off. Now the Christian White high on the left side. He'll dribble it down to the foul line. Picks it up, pass inside, grabbed by Summer. Lost it, out of bounds off of Highland, and it'll be Jeeps with the basketball. That was a good job. Wenger there went up, tried to save that one in, but just couldn't get it off the baseline. It almost seems like the Hawks defense scrambling just a little bit here. The Jeeps showing a lot of movement, able to get to rotate their guys to where they want them on the floor. Stolen away, meanwhile, by Caleb Mister. Mister has it on the other end. As the deflector grabs it, his layup is going to be no good. Rebounds with the four. Finally grabbed by Christian White. Highland could not get that thing to go in. And Ojeeps have the basketball. Into the front court. Here's White with the down top. 6-2 South Webster. Back in the right side. Received by Eli Roberts on that right wing. Holds onto it now. Dribbles it. Back near the midcourt line. Guarded tightly by Sam Wingard. Lobs it out top, goes to Tyler Summer. Drive the lane, his layup left hand is going to be good. Tyler Summer, his first two. Now an 8-2 lead for South Webster. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you by Rhodey's IGA Marketplace. Hawks basketball. Alex Miller has it. 2.40 to play in the first. On the right wing, Nick Wigdon, head fake. Now dribbles it. His 18-footers up in the air going to be knocked down. Nick Wigdon on the board. Highland down 8-4. Jeeps have it. And again, Christian White will walk it across the midcourt line. Guarded by Alex Miller. Shovels a pass on the right side. Grabbed by Jack Timothy. Back in the corner. Received by Tyler Summer. Summer double team. Lost it. Still one away. Sammy Deweather has it on the fast break to Mishler. Cross court pass. Alex Miller. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Owen Molt. Jeeps have it. Up by four. And now Jack Timothy on the right wing. Back out top to Molt. Left point now to Christian White. Into the corner. Here's a three-pointer by Eli Roberts. Going to be knocked down. Eli Roberts and the Jeeps have an 11-4 advantage. Jeeps are 4-4 four of four from the floor to start this ball game. Their only miss was a foul, and they went to the line and got two points anyway. 
Roberts' 44 three-pointer made this season. Here's a three-pointer by Deadweather. Meanwhile, that shot will be no good from the far corner. Rebound grabbed by Jack Timothy. Chiefs have it, up 11-4. Here's Christian White to the right wing, drives to the lane. His layup going to be stopped, a block, a foul on the attempted block by Kayla Mishler. A hard foul, making sure he did not get a clean shot off, and at the foul line will be Christian White. I wouldn't be surprised to see this called intentional here, the way the officials were talking about it. Looks like they're going to keep it a common foul. Mishler, his first personal, second team foul on the Hawks. Christian White at the foul line, 5'9", junior guard, averaging just under two points per game and three rebounds per contest. Free throw good, 59% free throw shooter for Christian White. He has three points. Don't let your home be without power. Call Homelessville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Give them a call, 330-279-4522. All Jeeps, they have a 12-4 advantage. Now on a 4-0 run. Free throw here is up, going to be no good. Rebound grab by Nick Wigdom. Highland basketball. Alex Miller across the midcourt line. Crosser pass over to Hershberger. Dribbles it to the foul line, out top to Wigdom. Drive, lane. Fadeaway jumper by Wigdon up in the air, in and out, and back in. Got the roll. Wigdon has four step in a 4-0 run for the Jeeps. Saps up with the lead now, up 12-6. In the basketball, pass inside. He'll be grabbed by Summer, backs it in, his shot blocked by Detweiler, rebound to the four, grabbed by Alex Miller. Highland ball, Miller to the front court on the fast break. Al Top Wigdon, his three-pointers up there, going to be in and out, no good. Rebound hauled in by Eli Roberts. Chiefs with the ball up 12-6 to six still, under a minute to play in the first quarter. With it is Christian White. Dribbles it now, right point, picks it up, spins around, White gets the handoff down. It'll be grabbed by Dylan Schubert in the game now. 6-1 junior, averaging six points per game and three and a half rebounds. Has it back near midcourt. Gets the hand off to White. Back in the left side. Grabbed over there by Hunter Barnard, the 5'11 sophomore guard. 28 seconds in counting in the first. The hand off to White on the right wing. Back in the corner now. Here's the dribble. The hand off back to White. White to the baseline. Gets called for traveling. And that'll be the turnover on the Jeeps. That'll be their eighth of the first quarter. So despite that, they had the six-point lead with 19.4 seconds to play in the first. McRoy alongside Jake Seidel for the broadcast. Boys Division IV Regional Championship Basketball from the convo. Winner moves on to the state semifinals next Friday at UD Arena against either Toledo Christian or Lima Central Catholic at 10.45 a.m. Heil looking for that final shot of the first. Detweiler into the front court. Dribbles it now, outs off. Left wing, Mishler. Back to Detweiler. Dribbles the left wing to the foul line. Detweiler, 50-footers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound going to be grabbed by Dylan Schuper. South Clister ball, and the shot in midcourt going to be no good from the length of the floor by Christian White to close out the first quarter of play. At the end of one, it is South Webster 12 and Highland 6. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. It's time to clear out the old, and you can get a great deal now. With new models arriving daily, Millersburg Electric must make room. Get big savings on over 50 closeout and floor display models. Gas and electric ranges, laundry products, refrigerators, dishwashers, and much more. From all the popular brands, including GE, Cafe, Frigidaire, and more. Don't delay as the inventory goes down each day. So hurry in for big savings. Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South in Millersburg. Or 24-7 at Millersburg Electric. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 17279 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. And first quarter numbers, courtesy of Jake Seidel, where Highland was 0 for 7 on three-point try. South Webster 1 for 2 for 50%. Highland 3 of 6 from two-point range for 50% shooting. The Jeeps 3 of 4 for scorching 75%. Highland basketball to begin the second quarter of play. And Mishler on the left wing out top to Wigdon. Wigdon to the foul line. Backs up to the right post. They shut up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound put back. No good by Wigdon again. Rebound finally corralled by Hunter Barnard. 
Keats basketball into the front court. Ball deflected and grabbed on the left wing by Schubert. Pass inside goes to Roberts. His layup is going to be good. Also in the first, Southwestern was 3 of 4 for the foul line for 75%. Highland did not get to the foul line. The Jeeps out rebounding the Hawks 9 to 3. And 8 turnovers for Southwestern, 3 for Highland in the first quarter of play. Here's a drive by Detweather. Back in the corner, goes out of bounds. No, saved, but uh, got finally stolen away by Schuper. Into the front court to Eli Roberts. Roberts to the baseline. He will be found by Nick Wigdon after Highland's fourth turnover by the first staff. That'll be the first team foul in the Hawks, and Wigdon has his first personal foul. Roberts looks to be in a little bit of discomfort there coming up after that. They're going to call that on the floor. So Jeeps to win, Madden up 14 to 6. He managed to Roberts along the foul line. Out top the pass to Schubert. Drive through the lane. His layup left in off the glass and good. Dylan Schubert, his first two. 16 to 6 lead now for South Webster. Highland ball. Here's Wigdon out top. Left wing pass to Mishler. Cross court pass received by Winger. Winger to the foul line to the lane. Has it knocked away with a foul's call. And he was hacked to the arm by Hunter Barnard. First team foul on the Jeeps here in the second quarter. Barnard has his first personal foul. Yeah, Barnard just bodying him up all the way into the paint. Didn't let him kind of separate as he tried to go up with the shot and knocked him off his course. Sam Wenger at the charity stripe. Six-foot junior has stepped up offensively here in the postseason, averaging just under seven points per game during the tournament trail, but in double digits each of the last two games and averaging just under three rebounds per contest during the postseason run, the 67% free throw shooter during the regular season. Three and nine for the foul line during the postseason play as he missed that first free throw attempt. Here's the second free throw. That's up going to be good. Three points now for Sam Wenger, the six-foot junior for the Hawks. Southwestern basketball, they have a 16-7 lead. 6.40 to play in the second quarter. Out top, Barnard dribbles it against Nick Wigdom. Now to the right wing. He'll back it up high on the right side, back near midcourt. Now finally a handoff to Dylan Schubert. Schubert dribbles it now to the foul line, to the lane. Pass right corner goes to Roberts. His three-point going to be knocked down. Eli Roberts, his second three-point basket, 19-9. Jeeps with the lead. He's a perfect three of three from the floor so far this evening. 10 points, Eli Roberts. Highland ball, here's Detweiler. Has it out top. Crossover to the foul line, to the lane. Pass deflected and stolen away. Roberts on the fast break now. To the bucket, Roberts will lay it up and good. Roberts now seven in the corner. 21 to seven lead for South Webster. Highland's gonna get a timeout. Six minutes to play in the first half. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. Have you heard of Seat Farm Tires yet? We bet your neighbors have. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we have been selling this premium radial tire for over six years now. If you need a good tire that has been proven in the field and on the road at a great price, then Seat is the tire for you. Just remember your ABCs. Always buy Seat. When you want the best, call MTS. Reach us at 330-674-1085, and our experts will give you all the details. Located on the State Route 39 east of Millersburg. Stay tuned tonight after the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Rhodey's IGA. Brogan Style reporting on the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. Of course, after the game also, we'll be posting the video stream coverage of tonight's regional championship game on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of Claxton Communications. Highland has the basketball trying to figure some things out. Down 21-7. Pass goes over to Sam Winger, left of the foul line. Out top to Alex Miller. Into the right post. Goes to Nick Wigdom. Backs it in. His turn on jumper blocked by Roberts, and he got the rebound. Jeeps basketball. Drive by Barnard. His layup off the glass. In good. Hunter Barnard, his first two. 23-7 lead for South Webster. Highland basketball. Five and a half to go in the half. Here's Alex Miller out top. Dribbles it. Drive. Lane. Past the corner goes to Detweiler. Head fake. Down to the lane, head fake, into the corner, Nick Wigdon, head fake, dribbles at left wing, cross court pass goes too tall and out of bounds. And great defense by the Jeeps, causing the sixth turnover on Highland. Uh, Jeeps pressure just getting into him, and Sammy Detweiler, normally you give him a three like that in the corner with the defender coming, he'll jump up and take that one. I think he kind of wishes he had that one back. Jeeps will have it. In the backcourt to inbound, a 23-7 advantage. 5-17 to play second quarter. Inbound it to Hunter Barnard. 5-11 sophomore guard averaging 2.5 a game. Barnard will cross the midcourt line. 
Shovels the right wing, deflected away. And now foul called on Alex Miller going for the steal. Second team foul on Highland. Miller has his first personal foul. Number 15, Alex Miller, that's his first. It'll be G. Spasco to inbound midway into the front court on the near side. Barnard's pass goes into the backcourt to Owen Malt. And he'll now cross the midcourt line. Malt working against Miller. Dribbles the left point. Backs it up high on the left side. His pass near side in the hands of Barnard. Around the foul circle, Eli Roberts. Roberts backs it up on the right point. The fumbles it, picks it back up. Cross court pass received now by Hunter Barnard on the left wing. He'll dribble it down to the foul line. Right wing back over to Eli Roberts. Roberts holds on to it, working against Sam Winger. Out top of the pass to Tyler Summer. Back to Eli Roberts as they spread the floor. His pass right wing can be chased down by Hunter Barnard. Into the hands of Owen Malt now high in the left. He'll receive, reset things back out top. Malt dribbles it to the foul line. Back in the corner now. Barnard has it. Head fake dribbles it to the foul line. Picks it up. His pass goes over to Schubert. Hop down shot. No good by Schubert. Rebound grab by Sammy Detweiler. Highland ball to the front court. Here's Alex Miller. Miller to the baseline. Poke loose. Goes out of bounds. It will be Highland basketball. That was just the third defensive rebound by the Hawks so far tonight. Well, partially because they haven't had any shots to rebound. South Webster has missed two shots from the floor so far that haven't been on fouls. The third rebound the, the, third rebound the Hawks have is off a free throw in that first quarter. Three point by Detweiler, meanwhile, going to be no good for the corner. Rebound goes to Zeke Boniker in the game now for the Hawks. Here's Detweiler, shot for the foul line up in the air, going to be knocked down. Detweiler finally gets one to go, his first two points of the half. And they need him to get going. 23-9 lead for South Webster. They have the ball. And close to a travel, knock to the four. Strum for the basketball. Going to be tied up, it looks like. Held ball, arrow does stay with South Webster, though. Simply pull in, remain in your vehicle, and let the experienced crew provide a quality, convenient oil change with no appointment needed at Southside Quick Lube. And while you're there, ask about the Starbright Unlimited Car Wash plan and ask to take care of the outside of your vehicle as well. At Southside Quick Lube on State Route 83 in Millersburg. 23-9 lead for Southwester, 340 to play in the half. Timeout call. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. A single-family home located at 4938 South Drive in Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $249,500. This property was built in 1945 and has three bedrooms and one full bath with 1,623 square feet located in the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Junior Miller at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. South Webster has the basketball out of the timeout to inbound, but he threw him back for Tyler Summer. Lobs it right corner to Eli Roberts. Shovels it out top to Owen Moult. Well, backs it up on the dribble. Works it against Zeke Boniker. Gets the hand off the midcourt to Christian White. Back back to Moult. Moult dribbles it down to the right wing. Dribbles it down to the foul line to the lane. In traffic. Lobs it out top. Received by Summer on the right wing. Back out top. Here's Roberts to the foul line. And going to be a reach-in foul called. He'll be on the four. That'll be the 13th foul on the Hawks. Foul charge number 13. It looks like Mishler going to check back in for Highland. Winger gets his first personal foul. And Mishler replacing Alex Miller for the Hawks. Christian White to inbound. Substitution for Alex Miller. Beneath throw him backboard once again. Lobs it to Roberts right of the foul circle. Roberts dribbles it. 18th throw up there by Roberts. Going to be no good. Rebound to the four. Rolls out of bounds. It'll be off of the Hawks. Couldn't quite corral it. And the Jeeps again will have the basketball. And Mark Schlebel talked about rebounding really being a key for this game tonight against the South Webster team. And like I said in the pregame, Matt, it, this is one where you really miss Alex Yoder. Uh, and the Hawks, they've, they've had a... They've, been able to get a few rebounds, but again, there haven't been a lot of shots for them to rebound. 
Here's a dribble to the foul line, to the lane, pass, right wing goes to Summer. Drive, kicks it back out up. Here is Schubert, head fake, drive to the baseline, and he'll be fouled, had a step on Alex Miller. And that'll be the 14th foul on Highland. Miller has his second personal foul. I thought they were going to get him for either a walk there or an offensive foul. He kind of ducked his shoulder and got his elbow around, but... Schubert and Hunter Barnard are two guards to come off the bench for South Webster, and they've been very impressive in this first half. A very well-disciplined uh, guards for a team that usually plays three forwards. Boehm, Molt has it on the left wing. Pass inside, grab by Summer under the basket. His layup off the glass, no good. Rebound goes to Caleb Mister, and Highland has it. Down 23 to 9. Under three minutes to play in the first half. Wigden now on the left wing. His pass to, Wig, to Sam Winger, back to Wigden. He'll find Detweiler out top. Head fake, down to the foul line, into the corner to Mistler. Wide open for a three-pointer. He is shots no good. Rebound to Detweiler. Put back is going to be no good. Rebound finally grabbed by Eli Roberts. Lit on that basket for the Hawks in this first half. Back in the corner. Grabbed by Summer on the left wing. We're seeing now by Dylan Schubert. Dribbles it. Hands it off to Roberts, top of the key. Takes it right wing. Crossover to the foul circle. Deflected, grabbed inside by Summer on the right block. Back out top to Dylan Schubert. Schubert to the foul circle and going to an illegal screen set by Eli Roberts. That's his second personal foul and second team foul now on the Jeeps. And also, that'll be their ninth turnover. I was wondering when we were going to get those. I've seen a lot of those really on both sides. Trying to get maybe a pick and roll going and leaving that pick too soon. Trying to get down towards the bucket. Once again, we'll be posting the video live stream coverage tonight after the game to the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of Claxton Communications. Highland has the basketball right now. Mister on the left wing, out top to Wigdon. On the right side goes to Sam Winger, out top Mister. Left wing back to Sammy Detweiler. Shovels it out top to Mister. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound to the four, finally corralled by Dylan Schubert. Jeeps have the basketball. Schubert now on the right wing. Gets the handoff to Owen Mall just behind him. 140 to play in the half. 23 to 9 lead for South Webster. And now with it is Jack Timothy high on the right side. Back in the corner. Received by Schubert. Jab step. Schubert dribbles it. Shovels it out top. And grabbed by Christian White. Now to the foul line with it is Jack Timothy. Right wing back to White. White spins around to the baseline. Picks it up. Out top to Molt. 120 to play in the second quarter. Molt backs it up near the midcourt line. Working against Sam Winger. Now drive to the foul line. Molt with it. His layup off last. No good rebound. Juggled. Fought for and going to be tied up, it looks like. Air, the arrow going to point, I believe, to South Webster. Now the officials are saying actually it should have been the other way. So, in fact, it will be Highland basketball. So the Hawks will have it. Of course, this game also live on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com tonight. Brogan Steinwell back at WKLM Sports Central. Hawks steam to the basket right here toward the end of this half. Detweiler across midcourt. Dribbles it to the right wing. Gets the handoff to Mister. Out top, Logan Hershberger. Drive lane. His layup off the glass. No good. Rebound hauled in by Dylan Schubert. Jeeps have it. Under a minute to play in the second quarter. Christian White the handoff. Received by Timothy. Now on the left point, we're grabbed by Brock Campbell, the 6'1 senior, averaging three and a half a game on the season. Goes out top of the pass, now to Christian White. White dribbles the right wing. To the lane, cut off. Kicks it back out top. Grabbed by Dylan Schubert. 30 seconds to go. Schubert to the right wing. Back in the corner, drive by Summer to the baseline. Lost it out of bounds, and turnover. And that will be the 10th on the Jeeps. Most of those occurred, though, in that first quarter. Highland ball again. Can they score? 25 seconds to play in this half. Sammy Detweiler, East District Player of the Year, came in averaging 16 and a half a game during the postseason trail and three and a half rebounds as well. He has so two points so far in the first half. Eight seconds to play. Detweiler's pass out top to Hershberger. Left wing now to Wigdon. His three pointers up there are going to be knocked down. Nick Wigdon got it to go as that shot by White deflected, rebound grab by Detweiler, but that'll do it here for the first half on a key three-pointer by Wigdon, but Highland still trails at halftime. The halftime score from the convo. It is South Webster 23 and Highland 12. Back around the recap, the first half for you after this on WKLM. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, 
cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail stop in all this week for these great savings at roadies iga hi this is scott roadie we have gerber's chicken thighs or drumsticks $1.58 a pound pork spare ribs $1.98 a pound t-bone beef steak $10.78 a pound we also have sherdale sliced bacon $3.98 sea best ocean perch fillets $4.98 plus download your digital coupon for a crazy low price this thursday through sunday with four pack jimmy dean breakfast sandwiches for $3.98 craft real mayo $2.48 and eight count nutri-grain fruit bars for $1.98 at roadies ij market a place in Millersburg. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Sunning Supply has 35 to 40 storm doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Center of Highland University in South Webster has an 11 point lead, 23 12 over Highland, as the Jeeps led 12 to 6 after one and really have led the entire first half as they outscored the Hawks 11 to 6 in the second. And South Webster has a 23 12 advantage here at halftime. Lead the way for South Webster in the first half, that was the Southeast District Player of the Year, Eli Roberts, who pumped in two three pointers in the first half on his way to 12 points here at halftime as for South Webster's Eli Roberts. He went two for two from three-point distance, two for three from two-point range, and two for two for the foul line for those 12 points to lead all scores. Also, three points for Christian White, two points apiece also for Tyler Summer as well as Owen Mo, and two points apiece for Dylan Schubert and Hunter Barnard to round out the Jeep's total of 23. For Highland leading the way, that was Nick Wigdon who knocked down that three-pointer at the end of the half. Wigdon. One for two from three-point distance, two for six from two-point range, his total of seven points. While Simi Detweather in the first half, 0 for four from three-point range and one for three from two-point range so far, just two points for Detweather. Three points also scored by Sam Langard, and that was Highland's total of 12. Halftime score, South Webster 23, Highland 12. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Jake Seidel. Well, thank you, Matt. The uh, Hawks in the first half of play shot one of 11 from downtown for 9%. And they shot four of 12 from two-point uh, two land for 33%, shooting combined 22% from the floor. For South Webster, two of four from downtown for 50%. 
7 of 12 from two-point land for 58%, shooting a combined 56% from the floor in the first half. That is phenomenal. Hawks were 1 of 2 from the charity strike for 50%. 3 of 4 went the Jeeps for 75%. Jeeps with a slight rebounding edge, 15 to 11, and they have a few more turnovers than the Hawks, 10 to 6. And one interesting fact I saw here on the uh, stat sheet they provide us, Hawks are only given up six points in the paint. Uh, they've given up ten, and they've scored four. So that's a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be when we started this ball game. Individual rebounding leaders for South Webster. It was three rebounds apiece for Dylan Schubert as well as Jack Timothy and Eli Roberts. For Highland leading the way, that was three boards for Sammy Detweiler in that first half. 23-12 lead for South Webster, and the Jeeps very impressive in the first half of play. Very impressive, and I mean, you, you take a look at uh, Roberts down low. It seems like he can do no wrong. He also has hit two three-pointers as well. Uh, not often do you see a 6-7 forward like that with they want to handle the ball out away from the hoop and really hit it from anywhere on the floor, it seems. We'll see what happens here in the second half. 23-12 lead for South Webster at halftime. Back with the second half after this on WKLM. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT-015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT-015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg. 330 or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. 
WKLM YouTube page immediately following this contest tonight, and that is courtesy of the Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon, who is producing tonight's video stream coverage, and also Natalie Holbrook working one of the cameras and the other camera being worked by Logan McPeak. So two cameras are on the court tonight, and we don't want to miss that after the game. Go to the YouTube to find the video stream coverage posted after the game for this broadcast for the evening. Winner moves on to the next Friday state semifinals at UD Arena in Dayton. It'll be at 10.45 a.m. against either top-ranked Toledo Christian or fifth-ranked Lima Central Catholic in that game. Already for the start of the second half, it'll be South Webster with the basketball, and they had that 11-point advantage going from right to left. Christian White now to the front court. Gets the handoff to Owen Malt. He'll take it right wing. Malt to the corner. Backs it up. Malt. Now the right wing. Go around the foul line. Drive by White. His layup blocked out of bounds by Logan Hirschberger. It'll stay with South Webster. But good defense that time by the trailing Logan Hershberger. White now the windbound for the Jeeps. His pass right of the foul line, Eli Roberts. Hands it off back to White in the corner. Spins around top of the key and out of the foul line. White lobs it. Going to be stolen away by Alex Miller. Miller on the fast break. Picks it up. Nice look inside, goes to Winger under the basket. Winger, layup going to be no good. Wave it off entirely, though. Going to call him for travel, trying to work away for some room to get that shot off. The seventh turnover on the Hawks. I think Winger thought he was going to get a foul call there. He took a little bit of contact as he was turning, and I think he wasn't uh, expecting to get hit as hard down low there, trying to get that ball off. Jeeps have it. Up 23-12 here in the third quarter. Here's Eli Roberts on the right wing. Dribbles it to the foul line. 15 footer by Roberts up in the air. Going to be knocked down. Eli Roberts has 14 points tonight. 25-12. South Webster Highland has the ball. One minute into the third quarter. Here's Wigdon with it on the left wing. Out top to Detweiler. Poke Lewis. He'll grab it again. His pass to Hershberger finds Nick Wigdon. Left wing pass goes to Alex Miller. Out top to Wigdon. Head fake. Now dribbles it. Wigdon to the foul line. Poke loose. There's the steal. Oh, Malt on the fast break all alone as he'll lay it up with the left hand. Missed the layup. Highland gets a big break there. Rebound Alex Miller. Miller to the front court. He'll find Detweather. Dribbles it to the baseline. Backs it up. Shot for the quarter by Detweather. He'll knock it down. Highland takes advantage. Detweather just a second basket tonight. He has four. 25 14 South Webster. They had the ball. Roberts picks it up too soon. Cross court pass received now by Tyler Summer on the left wing. Summer dribbles it out top, down to the foul line, to the lane. His layup off the glass is good. He got that one to go. Summer has four 27 14 Jeeps. Highland ball. Alex Miller hands it off to Wigdom. He'll have it on the right wing. Wigdom picks it up. Cross court pass goes to Alex Miller on the left side. Miller drive, picks it up. Inside to Logan Hershberger, poke loose, goes out of bounds. It will be what? It'll be staying with Highland this time around. Just a little special shout out to Jeff Naylor, by the way. Jeff Naylor from Eastern Brown, a guy I always talk to every year around basketball time, gives you some information of teams this area. And of course, uh, knows a lot about the teams over with the South Webster's Way and Eastern Brown and teams like that. So always appreciate that information. Get a chance to talk to Jeff about basketball every year. So again, a special shout out to Jeff Naylor, of course, listening in to the broadcast this evening as well. Highland ball, three-pointer for the quarter. No good by Nick Wigdom. Rebound hauled in by Christian White. South Webster has the basketball. Roberts on the right wing. Falls down, lost it, and that will be a turnover. And for the Jeeps, now up to 12 turnovers on the night. The Highland has to take advantage of that. You got to take advantage of it. You know, first uh, half numbers, uh, they actually only had five points off uh, turnovers, and you had 10 in that first half. You need to see that number move up here in the second half. Highland ball. Alex Miller now on the right wing. Al top to Detweather. Dribbles it behind the right side. Crossover, three-pointer by Detweather. Up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound, grab, however, by Hershberger. Back to Detweather. Highland with the ball once again on the offensive board. Here's Alex Miller. Picks it up. On the right side, Nick Wigdom. Inside to Sam Winger. Winger's 18-footer for the quarter. Going to be in and out. No good. Rebound to Eli Roberts. Jeeves basketball. Into the front court. Here's Brock Campbell, the 6'1 senior. Back to Roberts. Near that midcourt line. Al top to White. Dribbles against Hershberger. Comes to a jump stop right of the foul line. White looking. Pass to Eli Roberts. Spins around in traffic. Is going to be fouled on that move to the basket. That'll be for Highland. Their first team foul in the quarter. 
It looks like Hirschberger. No, they're uh, actually going to get Sam Wainert on that one. That's his second personal foul. That was on the four. Get total service for your jewelry at the jewelry store with a free cleaning and inspection. All the repairs done right in their showroom at the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in Millersburg. In to Roberts on the right wing. Gets the handoff to Christian White. White dribbles the right wing now to the corner. Backs it in. Pass inside to Brock Campbell. He'll back it up to the corner now to the right wing. Gets the handoff to Christian White. Alone the perimeter. White lobs it inside. Now goes to Tyler Summer on the right block. Backs it in on Detweiler. Summer spins around. Lost it. Picks it back up again. Now pass over to Brock Campbell. Back out top to Christian White for the Jeeps. White. Pass inside. Deflected. Off the basket. Stolen away by Detweiler. 13th turnover for the Jeeps. Highland has it. Alex Miller in the backcourt. Looking to get a pass off. Does so cross court into the hands of Mishler. Back to Alex Miller. Miller to the front court. To the foul line, to the lane, into the corner. Three-pointer by Wigdon's going to be no good. Rebound chased down again by Brock Campbell. Jeeps with it. Here's Eli Roberts on the left wing. Now to Summer. Dumps it inside. Layup going to be off the glass and good for Jack Timothy. Timothy is first two of the game. 29-14 lead for South Webster. Highland ball. Out top to Alex Miller. Three and a half to play in the third quarter. Miller, pass left wing to Detweiler. That three-pointer's up in there, going to be good. Much needed basket. Sammy Detweiler for Hawks. He has seven points, five of those in the quarter. Timeout call, three and a half to play in the third. A 29-17 lead for South Webster. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKOM. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. Brought to you tonight by Rhodey's Odds Game. Brogan Steinle reporting on the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. And Highland getting a key three-point basket for Seeming Detweather. And Highland needs more of that here in the second half. Yeah, they need to get him going. Uh, Sammy's only got, uh, pardon me, I got a seven points here. I had to do some quick math in my head. If they can get him going and he can get going fast, he can get them right back into this ball game. Full pressure on. Jeeps have it. Here's Owen Molt in the backcourt. Dribbles it across the half-forward line, guarded by Alex Miller. Malt with it high in the left side. Pass left of the foul circle to Eli Roberts. Roberts dribbles it to the baseline. He'll be bumped, shot up, going to be no good, but he'll be fouled by Sam Wingard. That's his third personal foul and second team foul on the Hawks, and now free throws for Eli Roberts. I'm not a big fan of that call. I, I know they're both running towards the bucket there, but Wingard... Uh, really just giving him pressure. He's not trying to push him off. He just had a shoulder into him, and they're going to uh, give him a foul there. First free throw good by Roberts. He has 15 points for the Southeast District Player of the Year. He'll have one more free throw to go. And that is going to be up, and that's going to be good. Buries them both. 16 points for Roberts. He has four in the third quarter. 31-17 South Webster. Highland ball. East District Player of the Year, Sammy Detweiler has it across the midcourt line. Dribbles it right wing. Crossover, pass right to the foul line. Winger deflected on the four. Dove after, and going to be a foul called on the Jeeps going after that loose ball. Yeah, Highland fortunate right that time. That'll be the first team foul on the South Webster of the quarter. It's going to go on Schuper. And Schuper will have his first personal foul. Wigden checking back in, replacing Zeke Boddicker for the Hawks. Under three minutes to play in the third quarter. Highland needs something here. Trailing by 14 right now. Wigdon's pass out top to Sam Wingard. On the left wing, Alex Miller. Miller dribbles it, shovels it out top to Detweather. Deflected, there's the foul. Going for the steal, Eli Roberts. And Roberts now, that's his third personal foul. Second team foul down the Jeeps. And it looks like he's going to check out. Hunter Barnard getting up and heading to the line, and he is going to check out here. This is huge for the Hawks here. 2.50 to play third quarter. You've got to go on a run here while the big guy's not on the floor. Got to take advantage. He's out. Hunter Barnard and the sophomore. And Wigdon inbounds it out top to Sam Winger. On the right wing, Alex Miller dribbles it to the baseline. 
Wraparound pass goes the Mitchell. Left wing three pointer by Wigdon's going to be no good. Rebound. Out top, finally corralled by Dylan Schubert. That's been the case for Highland tonight, struggling to hit those outside shots. Schubert on the right wing. Dribbles it. Now to the far corner, still with the basketball. Schubert to the baseline, picks it up finally. Pass inside, out of bounds, and that'll be a turnover. Outstanding defense by the Hawks that time will be the 14th South Webster turnover. And we talked about it earlier. The Hawks need to start turning these turnovers into points. Uh, they've, uh, what, 14 turnovers by South Webster, and I think seven points at this point off of turnovers. They're going to keep making these mistakes. You need to make them pay for it. See, the Hawks can do that, and it'll be Alex Miller with the basketball. 2.20 to play in the third, Highland down by 14. Miller outs off on the left wing. Here's Detweiler to the foul line, to the lane. His shot up in the air going to be knocked down on the fadeaway. Sammy Detweiler, he's starting to get the hot hand. He has seven in the quarter, nine for the ball game. 31-19 South Webster, though. Jeeps have it with two minutes to play in the third quarter. Moltz pass goes high on the right side. Received now by Barnard, who dribbles the left wing. Back near midcourt, Barnard guarded tightly by Wingard, and finally a five-second violation. Wingard was hounding them defensively the entire way. The 15th South Webster turn of their fifth now of the quarter. That, that's huge there. You got just under two minutes to play here in the quarter. Uh, you got a chance here to pull this back into single digits before the quarter comes to an end. Hawks basketball. And they trail it by 12. Here's Alex Miller to the front court. Miller pass left wing to Detweiler. Three pointer by Detweiler's up in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound to the four, going after it. Zeke Boniker, and a foul is gonna be called going after that loose ball. Boniker along with Schuper going after that basketball. They're gonna call that foul, I believe, on Schubert. And that'll be the third team foul in South Webster, and Schubert his second personal foul. Secure your personal team's future booth on and off the court with reliable home, life, and auto insurance through Troy Miller Agency, a Wayne Insurance Group agent. Good luck to the Highland Hawks basketball team throughout this tournament trail. Miller inbounds it for Highland. To the corner goes to Logan Hershberger. Now the Mischler out top. Gets the hand off the Detweiler. Detweiler to the foul line. Left corner, three-pointer by Alex Miller. is going to be in and out. No good. Rebound tipped around to the corner. Goes out of bounds and off of Highland. Wigdon tried to save it, couldn't do it. Get an open look for the quarter, couldn't knock it down for Highland. It'll be South Webster basketball. One and a half to play in the third. Inbounded in the backcourt to Owen Malt. Gs have it. Malt dribbles it across the midcourt line. His pass down to Christian White, left wing to Tyler Summer. Into the corner, grabbed by Schuper. Schuper dribbles the left wing. Backs it up out top. 1-14 to play in the third. He'll find... Now Barnard, high on the right, dribbles it out off. Gets the hand off to Malt. Head fake. Now dribbles the top of the key. Malt to the foul line. Pass inside, going to be grabbed by Christian White. Back out top to Schuper. Schuper shot for the foul circle, going to be off the mark. Rebound pulled in by Sammy Detweiler. Highland gets the stop again. Under a minute to play in the third. Detweiler, pass to the corner, three-pointer, no. Head fake, and what? Offensive foul is going to be called. I think they're going to get an illegal screen here on Hirschberger. Third team foul on Highland Hershberger. His second personal foul. Highland will get their ninth turnover. Trying to clear some room for Wigdon, but the offensive foul was called. Zeke Bodiger checking back in here for Wigdon. And Matt, just watching this offense with Roberts on the bench for the Jeeps, they don't look as decisive. It looks like they're taking too much time to think about what their next move is going to be. Uh, this Highland defense starting to get in their head a little bit. Inbound against the full court pressure. Here's Sommer. He'll push it across midcourt. He'll have it left wing. Pass goes out top. Now the drive by Barnard. Layup off the glass is no good. Rebound pulled down by Caleb Mischler. Hawks basketball, 35 seconds to play in the third. Miller to the foul line. Out top to Detweiler. Again, Eli Roberts on the bench right now. Detweiler to the foul line. Crosser pass to Mischler left wing. Back out top to Detweiler. 20 seconds to play in the third. That weather, crossover, backs it up. Now top of the key with it. On the right wing, here's Hershberger to the foul line. Hershberger in traffic, looking, whips it out top to Detweiler. Nine seconds to go. Detweiler to the foul line, 50 footers up in the air, gonna be knocked down. Sammy Detweiler, nine points in the corner. Two seconds, shot in midcourt by Schuper, gonna be no good. And that'll do it for the third quarter of play. At the end of three, it is South Webster 31, Highland 21. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKOM.
Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. to begin the fourth quarter. Here's Deltweather. Dribbles it to the foul line. Right wing to Wigdon. His three-pointers up there going to be knocked down. Nick Wigdon drills it from deep. Wigdon has 10. That's his second three-pointer tonight and a good way to start for the fourth quarter if you're Highland. And they cut this deficit, the single digits down, down 31-24. Meanwhile, going to be a foul call to the Hawks as Schubert crossed midcourt. That'll be for Highland, of course, their first team foul of the quarter. Yeah, nearing it, Nick Wigdon on the hand check there. I think he was kind of trying to go jab the ball and Grab, uh, got a piece of the hand. His second personal. Chiefs basketball and a seven-point lead. Embedded to Schubert. Back to White, goes out top down to Summer. His pass to Malt. Back in the right wing. Here's Christian White. Out top the handoff. Here's Eli Roberts. And what? Going to be a turnover um, on uh, South Webster. Another illegal Offensive screen. foul. Okay. Christian White. Christian White. I think that's the third or fourth offensive foul we've seen on Southwestern in this ball game. Officials are calling it. First team foul in Southwestern and the first personal on White. Highland has the ball. Here's Alex Miller out top. He'll find Sam Winger. Back to Miller on the right wing. Miller looking. Shovels it out top to Detweiler. Dribbles it. Drives the lane. Nice look inside the Winger. He'll lay it up and in. Off the assist from Detweiler. Winger now has five. Timeout is going to be called. We'll be back with the third quarter numbers after this. 31-26 lead now for South Webster. This is Regional Championship Basketball and WKLM. Unlock your potential at Buckeye Career Center's Spring Open House on Thursday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is your chance to explore cutting-edge programs, meet passionate instructors, enjoy dinner, and apply for next school year at this combined high school and adult education event. Plus, join us for an alumni gathering in the Joe Carlisle Marketplace. The $50 adult education application fee will be waived for those who apply at the event. Join us Thursday, March 21st at Buckeye Career Center for our Spring Open House. Quarter numbers courtesy of Jake Sino or Highland was one for seven on three point tries, just 14 percent. Southwebster 0 for one. Highland three of four though from two point range for 75 percent. The Jeeps three for seven for 43 percent shooting. Southwebster two for two for the foul line. Highland did not attempt the foul shot in the third. Each team had six rebounds, five turnovers for the Jeeps, three for the Hawks in the third quarter of play. Inbounded against the Highland full court pressure. Highland on a 5 0 run to begin the fourth, and they pull within five points. Jeeps basketball though, molt across midcourt. Out of the foul and kicks it right wing. Grabbed by Dylan Schubert. Schubert holds onto it. Looking now dribbles it. Schubert picks it up. Looking, looking. Pass to the corner. Grabbed now by Tyler Summer. Back to Schubert. Out top received by White. Ups inside Eli Roberts. His layup no good, but he'll be fouled by Sam Wenger. And Wenger now going to pick up his fourth personal foul and second team foul on Highland. Roberts did a good job there selling which way he was going to go, and he baits him into coming through and basically picking him up from underneath there. Now he gets to go back to the line. That free throw is up, going to be good. 17 points down for Eli Roberts to lead all scores. He is 5 of 5 from the stretch so far this evening. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Rhodey's on GA Marketplace. Second free throw by Roberts. That is up and going to be good. 18 points now for the 6'7 junior. 33-26 lead for South Webster, snapping a 5-0 Highland run to begin the quarter. 
Hawks basketball. Here's Hershberger. Back to Alex Miller. Miller top of the key. Now to Detweather. Dribbles it to the foul line. Crossover. Drives the lane. Spins around. Poke loose on the four. It go after and finally stolen away by Summer. Baseball pass to Roberts to the front court. He has it knocked away, but a foul is called. Hershberger thought he got it cleanly to knock it away. Instead, the foul is called. Hershberger, his third personal, 13 foul on the Hawks. I thought he got that clean, too. I thought he knocked the ball out of his hands, and then Roberts' momentum carried him into his, uh, carried his face into his, uh, Hershberger's hand, but official right there to make the call. That was after the 10th turnover on Highland tonight. Eli Roberts at the charity stripe. That free threw up in the air. Still perfect. He'll bury it. And he'll up to his 19th point this evening. 34-26 South Webster. Win or move, move it on to the state semifinals next Friday at UD Arena at 10.45 a.m. Second free throw going to be good as well. Eli Roberts make it 20 points this evening. 35-26 lead for South Webster. Now no 4-0 run themselves. Highland ball. Alex Miller out top. To the corner to Wigdon. Drive to the lane. Wigdon. Head fake. Shot up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Summer. Shot over the long arms of Eli Roberts misdirecting that shot. Roberts has it out top now. Dribbles it. Runner up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Miller. Alex the pass to Zeke Boddicker. Back to Alex Miller. Miller to the front court. On the right wing. Here's Detweiler. His shot for the corner up in the air. Going to be knocked down. Fade away from the corner. Sammy Detweiler. 13 points for Detweiler. Highland down 35-28. 5.45 to go. Jeeps basketball. Poke loose. And a steal by Hershberger. On the fast break. Hershberger dumps to the side. Lay up by Miller. It's going to be good. Alex Miller is first two tonight. Timeout called. Five and a half to play. South Webster 35. Highland 30. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. Founded in 2005, Casa de Saucy Stone has been dedicated to serving the building industry and providing distributors with stone veneer products that exceed customer expectations. The innovative, creative staff at Casa de Saucy pride themselves on developing quality and transformative products that will take your project to the next level. For more information or to join their team, visit them at www.casadesaucy.com or give them a call at 330-830-9760. Your partners at Casa de Saucy Stone like to wish all the area teams good luck down the tournament trail ready to turn back time this is dr emily reeser of dr brad welsh and associates pdo threads are a non-surgical minimally invasive way to achieve a youthful and lifted appearance these dissolvable threads are skillfully placed under the skin to stimulate your body's natural collagen production pdo threads can be used to address a wide range of concerns including sagging skin wrinkles fine lines, and more. To see before and after pictures and the other cosmetic injection services we provide, visit our website at drbradwelsh.com. To schedule a consultation, give us a call at 330-674-4876. It'll be Jeeps basketball out of the timeout. They had the five-point lead in the fourth quarter. Focal pressure is on by Highland, inbounded and dribbled across midcourt by Christian White. Back to the corner of the summer. Back to White on the right wing. Back to the summer in the corner. Dribbles it out top. You'll find Eli Roberts down with the basketball. Guarded by Zeke Boniker. Roberts back near the midcourt line. His pass goes left wing. Now to Brock Camel. Camel shovels it out top to White. White against Hershberger. Dribbles it right wing. Picks it up. Out top of the pass to Schubert. Left wing back to Camel. Into the corner to Summer. Summer dribbles it left wing. Cross court pass. Finds White. Lobs it inside. Received by Roberts. And he'll be held by Zeke Boniker. 14 foul on Highland. Ian Boniker has his first personal foul. I do like the job Boniker's been doing down low, trying to hold on there, make sure uh, they, that uh, Roberts isn't getting any easy looks at the bucket. And batted out top, received by Roberts. Dribbles it against Boniker, picks it up. Out top of the pass to Brock Campbell. Campbell looking. Pass inside. He'll find Schubert under the basket. Good closeout defense by Miller, though. Out top to Summer. Now to Christian White out top. White going to be a foul on the reach in by Logan Hershberger. Hershberger has four personal fouls on him. And that's the 15th foul, so it'll be double bonus now the rest of the way. Personal foul. 15 foul. Christian White at the foul line. 5'9", junior guard. 59% free throw shooter. Christian White. He has three points this evening, one of those at the charity stripe. He's one of two from the stripe tonight. Free throw up going to be good. Got the roll. 
Looks like Mishler and Wenger are going to check back in here. Hirschberger and Boddick are going to go take a seat on the bench. White has four. Update on the score. Toledo Christian has a one-point lead, 49-48 over Lima Central Catholic in the fourth quarter of that one. That free threw up. That's going to be good. Buries them both. Christian White has five, 37-30 South Webster. Highland Ball, under five minutes to go. Alex Miller outs off. Dribbles it down right wing. Drive to the lane. His layup going to be good. Wave it off, though. A foul called before that basket. But a nice drive by Miller, who had a step on his defender. Yeah, I think our, our official had to think about that for a second. I mentioned earlier, uh, just from his mannerisms, he, I believe he's also a college official, but don't hmm. quote me on that. I think he had to think which uh, level he was officiating there for a second, if they'd count that or not. Second team foul. In batter right wing to Alex Miller. Miller outs off. On the left wing, Detweiler. Jab step. Now dribbles it to the foul line. Backs it in. Fadeway jump up to Detweiler. Going to be partially blocked. Rebound to the four. Picked up by Brock Campbell. Long pass to the front court, going to be grabbed by Summer. His layup is going to be good. Summer has six. Back to a nine-point Chiefs lead, 39-30. Highland ball. 420 to play in the fourth. Out top, Detweather. His three-pointers up in the air going to be good. A big answer by Sammy Detweather right there. He has now 16 points. That's his second three-point basket. Highland down 39-33. Chiefs have it. Christian White to the front court. His pass received by Brock Campbell along the perimeter. Around the foul line, Roberts. Roberts shot going to be no good, but again, he'll be fouled. And now two more free throws for Eli Roberts. And they're going to get Sammy Detweiler on that one. His first point, this, uh, first foul, I should say, this evening. Roberts has 20 points on the evening. And four of those at the foul line in this fourth quarter of play. That free throw is up. It's going to be no good. Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting serving you for the past 25 years. Located in Millersburg and serving the surrounding areas. Call or text 330-695-3000 for your roofing and spouting needs. Second free throw, no good as well. Missed them both. Rebound to Wigdom. His first two missed free throws this evening. He was perfect before that. Highland ball down by six, though. Under four minutes to go. Miller has it out top. Miller. Comes to a jump stop. Gets the handoff. Here's Detweiler. Dribbles the right wing. Crossover to the foul line. Inside. Nice look. Here's Miller. His layup is going to be good. Alex Miller has four. And Highland down 39-35 off the assist from Detweiler. Chiefs have it. Here's Christian White now to the front court. Guarded by Mishler. Takes it right wing. Picks it up. Out top summer. Left wing. Grabbed now by Campbell. Guarded by Wigdon. Campbell's pass to Roberts around the foul circle. Roberts drives, smothered, and held on to. Arrow does point, however, to South Webster, but good defense by the Hawks. Yeah, that's great. He got uh, a triple team kind of collapsed in on him. Looked like he was trying to walk through a puddle of cement going to the hoop and able to grab onto that ball. 3.15 to go. Embedded to Roberts on the right wing. Gets the handoff. Grabbed by White. Takes it to the baseline. Backs it in. White in the right post. Head fake. Spins around. He'll find Schubert. He'll back it up to the right wing. They'll reset the offense now on the pass out top to Eli Roberts. Roberts dribbles at top of the key. 39-35 South Webster. They had the ball in under three minutes to play. Here's Brock Campbell. Picks it up. Gets the handoff. White. White guarded by Mishler again. Dribbles it. Lobs it right wing. Grabbed by Brock Campbell. 2.40 to go. Pramble, right side. Passes, I find somewhere on the right block. Double team, though. His pass across the lane goes to Schubert. Lost it, grabbed in the far corner by Summer. Now to the foul line. Left wing back to Schubert. Holt gets the head fake. Pass over to White, out top to Summer. Two and a half to play. Yeah, South Webster being patient offensively with this four-point lead. And yeah, taking a lot of time off the clock here in the fourth on this position, a possession. Shot up in the air by Roberts. Meanwhile, he is knocked down on the fadeaway. Big shot by Eli Roberts. He buried it. 22 points for Roberts. 41-35 South Webster. Drive, spin move, layup by Miller. Off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped to the corner. Three-pointer by Wigdon is going to be knocked down. Nick Wigdon from three. Wigdon. Now has two three-pointers to the quarter. He has 13 points for the game. Timeout called. Two minutes to go. It's South Webster 41, Highland 38. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. 
Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Yeah, a reminder, I'll be posting the video stream of tonight's game to the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of Claxton Communications, to the WKLM YouTube page after the game tonight. Casey Claxton, along with Natalie Holbrook and Logan McPeak, part of that crew tonight. We're also live tonight on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Brogan Steimel is back at WKLM Sports Central. South Webster basketball, they have a three-point lead. Double team by Highland, out top pass goes to White. Dumps inside, there's a steal after Highland threw that trap on. They get the turnover, the 18th on the Jeeps. Highland basketball down by three with 1.40 to go. Alex Miller dribbles it, drive, and he'll be mauled. Layup is good, Alex Helt! He was held on to, taken to the four, somehow got the shot off, and somehow he got it to go, and a chance to get a three-point play and tie this game up, Alex Miller. My goodness. It, it looked like, who says they don't play football at Highland? He looks like a running back trying to shake off a linebacker to go to the end zone with that play. Alex Miller, the will on that drive, and now a chance to tie this game up. He has six points all coming in the fourth quarter. That free throw up, it's going to be knocked down. We are tied up, folks, at 41 apiece. 41-41 is the score. And the Chiefs have the basketball on the back baseline. Full court pressure is on by the Hawks. In a grab by Roberts in the backcourt. He'll find Brock Camel. Camel dribbles it across the half-court line. Guarded by Wigdom. Campbell out top. Gets a pass off now to Roberts high on the right side. 128 to go, tied up 41. Roberts to the right wing. Now to the baseline, Roberts, wraparound pass. Grab left wing by Owen Moult. Thought about it, back to Roberts instead in the corner. Roberts, 117 to go. Dribbles it back out near the midcourt line. Lobs the left wing back to Moult. Tied at 41. Jeeps had the basketball. Again, working some clock down. Maltz pass goes near side to Brock Campbell. We'll have to see how long they're going to work this clock down here. Goes cross court pass to Roberts. Roberts with it out top. His pass to Malt now high on the left side. 50 seconds and counting, fourth quarter. Malt dribbles it to the foul line. Gets the hand off to Brock Campbell. Campbell comes to a jump stop, pass to the quarter. Grab now. Almost threw it away. The grab by Schubert. Drive lane. Nothing to lay up by Schubert. No good. Rebound pulled down by Alex Miller. Highland ball. Tied 41, 30 seconds to play from the convo. If I'm the Hawks, I'm holding for the final shot here. You don't want to score too early and give them a chance to go down and get a half-court heave. And meanwhile, timeout called. 21 seconds to play. Highland 41, South Webster 41. This is Regional Championship Basketball and KLM. If it's time for your business to expand, then your project deserves a proven design and construction firm known for keeping their word. And that's the design construction professionals at Weaver Commercial Contractors. Offering architectural design and drafting, general contracting, pre-construction services, budget consultation, and more. But don't take my word for it. Check us out today at WeaverCC.com and see what others are saying about Weaver Commercial Contractors. Give us a call today at 330-264-9020 or check us out in person at 172 Old Lincoln Way in Dalton. Weaver Commercial Contractors build on solid relationships. 
Are you looking for a bank that understands your local needs? Look no further than Kilbuck Savings Bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your partners in financial success. At Kilbuck Savings Bank, we pride ourselves on offering personalized service tailored to you. We are a community bank that is large enough to help you achieve your goals while continuing to care about the communities we serve. We wish all teams the best of luck this season. KSB, a Bauer five-star financial rated bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Winner plays either Lima Central Catholic or Toledo Christian in the state semifinals. Right now, Lima Central Catholic has a 55-53 lead and a tight one there also against Toledo Christian. Highland basketball right here tied at 41, 21 seconds to play. Wigdon inbounds it to Alex Miller. 20 seconds to go. Highland basketball, we're tied up. On the right wing, here's Sammy Detweiler. 15 seconds. Down to 14. Detweiler dribbles it. Down to 12 seconds. Down to 10. Detweiler, right wing. Still with it. Back out top. And going to be a five-second violation. Too much dribbling by Detweiler. And that'll be a turnover for the Hawks. They're 11th. Mark Schleval arguing that there should have been a foul called. And now a timeout that'll come from South Webster. Tied at 41, eight seconds to go. The Jeeps will now have the basketball out of this timeout. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. Looking to upgrade the exterior of your home? Siding is indeed the best bang for your dollar. Hi, I'm Nevin Mass with Home Siding Contractors. We have the best siding on the market today, and the low maintenance aspect of our siding is what our customers enjoy the most. Provia Siding fits that bill exactly. No frequent painting or staining with wood siding. No routine sealing like stucco. Provia Siding lasts. Check out all we have to offer at our new and improved showroom east of Millersburg, and let our experienced sales team show you how affordable our products can be. Down to the wire, as you might expect here for a regional championship game. What a game it's been here, Jake, and a great comeback for the Hawks to tie this game up, but they need a big defeat, the fifth to stop right here. And, and the good thing for them is they have been able to force uh, 18 turnovers tonight. If they can force number 19 right here quickly, they have a chance to put one up before the buzzer. 8.1 seconds to go. Tied at 41. South Webster has the basketball. They'll have it near side, just into the backcourt. Dylan Schuper to inbound. Ducking a shirt in via the official. And now he'll grab it, inbounds it to Eli Roberts. Seven seconds. Roberts, five seconds to go. Casually across midcourt, three seconds. Roberts to the foul line. His shot up in the air by Roberts. Going to be no good. And we're going to overtime. Grabbed by Hershberger to close out regulation. Highland 41, South Webster 41. Back with overtime after this on WKLM. Stop cleaning your gutters. Get Gutter Bonnet and ABC Seamless Gutters, and your gutters will stay clog-free, guaranteed, or we'll clean your gutters free. Hi, this is Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors. Our gutters are 33% larger to prevent overflow, and our leaf protection keeps out leaves and debris. It's the perfect combination to keep your gutters worry-free. Call Miller Custom Exteriors today and say goodbye to cleaning your gutters. Visit us online at millercustomexteriors.com. Craving a mouth-watering slice of pizza? Look no further than Charm Pizza, where each pizza is crafted with the freshest ingredients in their exclusive secret sauce. Whether you're a classic pepperoni enthusiast, a lover of wings, or intrigued by their pizza of the month, they have a delightful option for everyone. Come out and visit them in the heart of Charm, where you can savor a mouth-watering, freshly made pizza exactly the way you like it. Dine in or carry out. You can give Charm Pizza a call to order at 330-893-7938. The pizza of the month for March is Buffalo Chicken. Highland out scored Southwestshire 20 to 10, doubling up the score on the, the Jeeps in the fourth quarter to tie this game up and send this game in to OT. Now for the jump to start off the overtime session, Nick Wigdon against Eli Roberts. Roberts, of course, at 6'7". Wigdon stands in at 6'3". There's the whistle. Be won again by South Webster, as they did to start the game. Tied at 41 in overtime. Four minutes to go, of course, in the overtime session. Brock Campbell has it. Taps right wing. Here's Roberts. Dribbles to the foul line. His pass received now by Tyler Summer. Back on the right side. Grabbed by the far end by Campbell. His pass deflected. Here's a steal by Alex Miller. Miller to the front court. To the basket. His layup going to be good as he snocks to the four. And Highland takes a 43-41 advantage. 
What a fourth quarter in overtime. Alex Miller down the stretch. He has been phenomenal. In the fourth quarter, he is shooting uh, in the fourth quarter in overtime. Four of five from the floor, one of one from the stripe. Here's Camel. Dry. Scoop shot. No good. Rebound. Juggled. Grabbed by Schubert. In traffic. Schubert gets a shot off. Going to be good in the foul. Dylan Schubert ties it up. And now a chance for a three-point play. A big offensive board and put back for Dylan Schubert. Detweiler going to pick up his, uh, I believe, second foul. Indeed it is. Four points for Schubert. Just his second basket. We're tied up at 43 apiece. Dylan Schubert. Schubert, 6-1 junior. Trying to give his team the lead. That is up going to be no good, though. Rebound by Summer. Another offensive board is put back going to be no good. Rebound to the 4 5 four. Finally grabbed by Alex Miller. Miller on the fast break. Pass goes cross court, goes out of bounds, and off of who? Two players crash it in. And they're going to say it's off the of Highland. Mark Stable saying, how could that be off of Logan Hersberger? Almost had to be a foul or off of South Webster, but the Jeeps will have it. And that'll be a turnover for Highland on their 12th tonight. Full court pressure is on. Tied up at 43. Three minutes to play in OT. Owen Malt now has the basketball across midcourt. Has it left wing. Working against Nick Wigdom. His pass goes to White inside Eli Roberts, who's double teamed. Back to White in the corner. Dribbles it to the foul line. Picks it up inside to Roberts. Roberts under the basket. Shot up in here. Going to be no good, but he will be fouled. Eli Roberts will go to the foul line now to shoot. To shoot two. And, of course, already five team fouls in the Hawks. Detweiler has his third personal foul now. Tied at 43, 2.42 to play in overtime. Roberts, 8 of 10 from the line so far tonight. He missed his last two attempts. His first misses from the line in this game. He has 22 points. That free throw is up, going to be good. Didn't miss that one. And now his team regabs the lead at 44, 2.43. And now they're checking out his arm, and he's going to have to go and get, I think he's got some blood on his elbow. They're going to have to get that uh, fixed here. Yeah, normally you'd have to come out and see if they're able to get that taken care of. I think if they can. He will stay in. The trainer sitting down at the end of the bench, saw the official go look at his arm, reached right into his bag and pulled the gauze out. Quick move by the trainer, and he'll be now ready for a second free throw attempt. And that is up. It's going to be good. Buries them both. Eli Roberts, 45-43, South Webster. Highland with it. Alex Miller to the front court. Holes out the play. He has it out top. Miller. Now to the left wing. His pass goes to Detweiler. Guarded tightly. Detweiler to the foul line. His shot up in there by Detweiler going to be no good. Rebound. Snapped out top by Wingard. Great job. Chased down by Detweiler near midcourt. From the left wing. Wingard to the baseline. His lamp off the last is good. Sammy Dow Sam Wingard kept that possession alive, and he got the basket as well. We're tied up at 45 apiece. Sam Wingard making some basketball plays for the Hawks. Jeeps had the basketball. Tied at 45 in OT. Two minutes to play. Here's Owen Malt. Crossover to the left wing. Backs it up near the midcourt line. Malt still with the basketball. Picks it up. Pass near side. Grabbed by Summer high on the left. Dribbles it out top. Now on the right wing. Gets the handoff. Here's Eli Roberts. Inside going to be a travel call to Roberts as Schubert broke free on a backdoor cut. Instead, the 20th turnover on South Webster tonight. And I'm curious to see when, we'll, when we uh, get our stats after this game, what the Hawks have done in the points off turnovers department. I think they're getting up there. Double digits maybe nearing 15-20. Tied at 45 in overtime, one and a half to go. Highland ball. Here's Alex Miller. Miller crossover. Gets the handoff. Detweiler almost turned over. He'll grab it, though. Detweiler has it high on the right. Oscar pass. Logan Hersberger outs up. On the left wing, here's Alex Miller. His pass grabbed by Detweiler. Dribbles at top of the key. Detweiler. Spins around to the lane. Nice look inside. Grabbed by Winger. Right corner, Alex Miller for a three-pointer. It's going to be no good. Rebound. Grabbed by Malt, but he grabbed it and went out of bounds, and Highland's going to get the ball back. 1-10 to play in overtime. Tied at 45. Highland to win that beneath the own backboard. Matt Cray alongside Jake Seidel for the broadcast this evening from the Convocation Center at Ohio University. That weather. 
to the corner. Pass goes to Alex Miller on the inbounds pass. He'll back it up to reset the offense. 105 to play in overtime. We're tied up, and Highland has it. Miller's pass goes to Hershberger as Highland will spread the floor. Under a minute to play. Out top to Alex Miller. Miller dribbles it. Takes it against Summer to the left wing. His pass goes to Hershberger. Drive to the right wing. Hershberger to the corner. Picks it up. Pass goes to Miller. Nice look inside. Way up one. It's going to be good. And Highland has the lead. Sam Wingard. Sam Wingard. Another bucket in Highland. A 47-45 advantage. 30 seconds to go. Timeout called by South Webster. 32 seconds of overtime. Highland 47. South Webster 45. Don't go away. This is Regional Championship Basketball on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving a persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Well, a lot of guys stepping up for the Hawks down the stretch here, but two guys in particular, when you look at it, Jake, Alex Miller and Sam Wenger really making some huge basketball plays for Highland. And that's exactly what they needed to do. You know, the uh, focus has been on Nick Wigton and Sammy Detweiler all night, rightfully so for those two players, but uh, they finally found the guys that are open. Of, when they're double-teaming Wigton and Detweiler, someone doesn't have a defender, and they're finally finding who that is, and they're getting points. Highland up 47-45. That's their first lead tonight. 32 seconds to go in OT. And Christian White to win it for the Jeeps. His pass grabbed by Owen Malt. Jeeps have it down by two in OT. Malt has it out top. Working against Wigdon. Malt dribbles it. Takes it right wing. Pass to the corner. Grabbed down the far side by Camel on the right side. Now to Schubert in the corner. Right wing to White. Lobs inside Eli Roberts. Double team. His shot up going to be no good. In traffic. We're going to be rebound by Logan Hershberger. And he'll be found. And I think Roberts trying to draw a foul inside. Didn't get it. And Highland gets the rebound in. Drawing the 14th foul on South Webster. So one more foul still away from the bonus. Ten and a half seconds to go. Of course, Fulker pressure is on by South Webster. Highland to inbound on the back baseline. Yeah, Wigdon. They, they're going to have to foul immediately. And indeed, it's inbounded to Alex Miller. He will be fouled by Owen Malt. Five team fouls, double bonus now. And for Highland's Alex Miller, again tonight, has nine points, and that is the fourth quarter in overtime combined where he's gotten all of those nine points this evening. 69% free throw shooter during the regular season. 50% for the foul line for the, during the postseason trail going into this game this evening. Big free throws right here. That's up going to be knocked down. One more free throw makes it a two-possession game. 48-45 Highland. One more free throw to go for Alex Miller. Nine seconds to go in OT. And the second free throw attempt by the 5-9 sophomore point guard. That's up going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Malt. Seven seconds. Malt to the front court. They hand off to Roberts. Roberts, three-pointer up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound snapped away. Grabbed by White. That'll do it. A Highland wins it. They're going back to the state. What a comeback for the Hawks as they win it. 48-45 to 45 in overtime. What can you say, Jake? Highland just finds a way. Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Highland going to make their third consecutive trip to the state and come from behind fashion. They win it in overtime. 48-45 over South Webster. Stay tuned. I'll be speaking with Highland head basketball coach Mark Stable on the floor in the postgame show next on WKLM. Holmes Limestone Company of Berlin is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes, and they understand scholar athletes work hard in the gym and in the classroom, spending long hours, late nights, and sacrifices for not only their personal goals, but also their team. 
Your friends at Holmes Limestone have been in business since 1948, and they are located on State Route 39 east of Berlin. Holmes Limestone would like to take this opportunity to salute parents, coaches, teachers, and athletes for their hard work and dedication throughout the year. Holmes Limestone, proud to be a part of your community. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders. We're your partners. At the Mount Hope Auction every Wednesday, the Flea and Farmer's Market opens at 7 a.m. The hay sale begins at 9.30 a.m. in Ring 2. At 9 a.m., the goat sale begins, followed by sheep. At 10.30 a.m. in the main ring, they start with farm calves, followed by dairy, pigs, hogs, feeders, followed by bulls, fat cattle, and call cows. The poultry and rabbit sale begins at 1 p.m. For more information on other sales and happenings at the Mount Hope Event Center throughout the year, you can go to mounthopeauction.com. Hi, this is Moe's Beach, and I'm an independent representative of Beamer Group. Find out more about the new Beamer Premium Evo set, which offers a complete package for optimal health. With 16 flexible coils, it can increase efficiency and ensure a perfect distribution of the proven Beamer signal throughout your body. Learn more about the FDA-cleared Class 2 medical device and experience an 8-minute session. Call Moe's at 330-231-8010 for a Beamer consultation or log Log on to a life.beamergroup.com. That's A L I F E dot B E M E R group.com. Helen captures the regional championship 48 45 and Mark, unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I, you know, until you go back and watch the film on a game like that, you don't, you don't really even know what happened, but. You know, we got a, our, on the floor of our locker room, it says tough players win. So our guys have to walk past that every day. And that was the ultimate toughness game right there. Our kids just showed toughness, heart. I mean, they battled. And we just kept saying, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Just keep getting one stop at a time. And, and we're going to eventually, offensively, things are going to go down. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just it was a toughness win. That's all it was. Is it the biggest special thing about this group? We talked about this, Mark. This team doesn't panic. They don't panic here in any situation. That was certainly indicative of the team tonight. Yeah, we, we play such a tough schedule. We're never ahead by a lot of points because our schedule is so tough and our league is so tough. So we're, we're used to being behind. We're used to being in close games. And, you know, I was it showed again tonight. Finally got some shots to go, as you mentioned in that second half. Seeming that while it kind of got hot in that third quarter. But how about a couple other guys? Alex Miller, Sam Langer down the stretch. They were huge. I just thought all our guys that played tonight were huge. And uh, Sammy... You know, heart of a champion there in the second half and and scored it, made great assists. Alex Miller with some just unbelievable plays down the stretch. Sam Wenger, great defense again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, all I could say, Nick Wickton, huge three to get us right back in it. And he was carried the load for us in the first half. And Logan Hurst played with an injury the whole game after the first quarter. And, yeah, so our kids just showed a lot of heart tonight. You mentioned hard tonight, really all season long, Mark. I think not a lot of people would expect that you guys be in this spot here, even to have a chance to play for this with the injuries and things you guys have dealt with. But this group of fighting through that adversity again to get themselves back to the state tournament. Yeah, nobody, I, I mean, I think we thought we'd be here. We didn't think we'd be here messing with this group. But that's also a testament to Connor, Alex, and Ashton. I mean, every practice they're there, they're on the sideline getting on our guys. I mean, Again, we're not here without those three just as much as we're not here without, you know, Sammy Detweiler or, or whoever. So, hey, I give the guys that played a lot of credit, the guys that didn't play a lot of credit, our guys that have been hurt, yeah, they, they've handled their situation way better than I would have as a high school kid. So I'm just proud of them all. Absolutely. Before I wrap it up, Marcus, your thoughts is you're going to be going back to Dayton next week. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It'll be uh, Lima Central Catholic or uh, Toledo Christian. We've seen them both. They're both really, really good. And we're going to be a big underdog, but it doesn't matter right now. Mark, congratulations on the victory. All right, thank you. All right, that's Highland Head Basketball Coach Mark Stable as Highland captured their third consecutive regional championship. Back after this on WKLM. 
Holmes Limestone Company of Berlin is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes, and they understand scholar athletes work hard in the gym and in the classroom, spending long hours, late nights, and sacrifices for not only their personal goals, but also their team. Your friends at Holmes Limestone have been in business since 1948, and they are located on State Route 39 east of Berlin. Holmes Limestone would like to take this opportunity to salute parents, coaches, teachers, and athletes for their hard work and dedication throughout the year. Holmes Limestone, proud to be a part of your community. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Holmes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. If you're looking for a creative, innovative, and affordable experience in home building, then look no further than Fingerprint Homes. At Fingerprint Homes, we've reinvented the home building experience using a technology-driven six-step process that's backed by personalized customer service at every step of the way. Check out our interactive website at www.fingerprinthomes.com or call today to schedule your appointment at 330-234-9004. At Fingerprint Homes, we're more than builders, we're your partners. Well, what a game tonight. Highland Captures cover behind Thash in the capture of their third consecutive regional championship as South Webster led 12-6 after one, 23-12 at halftime. They led 31-21 through three. Highland outscored South Webster 20-10 in the fourth. They tied up at 41 in regulation. And then Highland comes back in the overtime session. They outscore South Webster by the score of 7-4. And they win at 48-45 to capture the regional title. Highland going back to the state tournament. Highland going to be taking on Lima Central Catholic as they would up in a close win for them over Toledo Christian. So Highland will take on Lima Central Catholic. It'll be next Friday, 10.45 a.m. at UD Arena at Dayton University in the state semifinals. That'll wrap things up for us here from the convo. Doing a special thanks to uh, Brogan Steinwell back at WKLM Sports Central. And also thanks to our video live stream crew, Claxon Communications. A reminder, you can go to YouTube tonight here momentarily. So the WKLM YouTube page actually is posted right there. Casey tells me, go to YouTube on the WKLM YouTube page. You can find the video stream coverage for tonight's broadcast. So go there. You don't want to miss that. We want to thank, uh, again, our Claxon Communication crew, Casey Claxon and Natalie Holbrook, Logan McPeak, and thank those guys all season long. They were terrific, allowing us to bring you this video live stream coverage. Nobody's better than that. And then the Claxton Communication crew, so they've been terrific all year. We really appreciate their help in making that happen for you folks uh, with the video coverage throughout the course of the season. So really big thanks goes out to them. That is one of the things up here for us here from the convo. Highland capturing their third consecutive regional championship. They went at 48-45 over South Webster, and they're going back to the state tournament in Dayton next Friday. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.